Hello, I'm Al Holtham. In this program, I want to show you two models from the extensive range of professional quality chainsaws from Makita. It's a range that's been developed through many years of close cooperation with forestry experts worldwide. They set new standards in technology and design, and they've been engineered to meet the needs of both the professional and the discerning home user. The much acclaimed high torque engines compact design and a high power to weight ratio, along with some innovative features, makes them safer and less tiring to use, as well as minimise their impact on the environment. The important issues of noise, vibration, emissions, maintenance and the ongoing running costs have all been addressed to produce highly efficient and reliable saws with a long service life. The first saw I want to show you is the EA3201. Although an entry level saw, this has many features and benefits normally only found on much higher spec chainsaws. It's powered by a 32cc two-stroke engine that generates 1.7 horsepower, so it's ideal for lighter tree work, thinning and hedging. And it weighs just 4.3 kilograms, which makes it very easy to use in confined situations. The catalytic muffler ensures the engine complies with all the current exhaust emission regulations. The advanced electronic ignition system controls the idling speed and increases the power output within the normal working RPM range, as well as providing engine overrun protection. The Makita Easy Start Spring Assisted Recoil Starter reduces the amount of pull force needed to start the saw. It only requires a light pull for the spring assistance to be activated and the engine turned over. Coupled to this, the saw uses memory power ignition technology for easy restarting when it's hot. What this means is that energy is stored in the coil during normal working and this reduces the RPM needed for restarting by 50%. The fuel primer pump is easily accessible and having a clear bulb allows you to see when there's sufficient fuel in the line. The on-off choke combination switch has an automatic lock at the half throttle position for easy starting. The touch and stop switch just requires a light downward touch to stop the engine but the switch then automatically returns to the run position. This eliminates any risk of the engine being flooded when you come to restart. The switch can be moved down to the locked off position for safe transport or maintenance. For added user safety, this saw has a Makita M2M vibration dampening system and this effectively isolates the engine drive and guide bar from the operator's hand grips. This is achieved using heavy duty steel springs that are built to last and are not affected by oil or fuel like rubber dampers. Vibration levels are just 4.8 meters per second squared. The EA3201 is supplied with a 35 centimeter bar that takes a 3 8 pitch chain. The tensioning system is external and toolless. All you have to do is turn this knob until the chain sits flush against the bottom of the guide bar and then fold the knob back in. It's very easy. There's an automatic oil pump for the bar. You can adjust the oil flow rate if necessary to suit different bar lengths. The inertia chain brake provides operator protection in the event of a kickback, stopping the chain instantly. But it can also be used manually to lock the chain securely for transport between jobs. The unique integrated design of the Makita chain brake allows the guide bar and chain to be fitted much more easily compared to other makes of saw and it prevents shavings accumulating in the sprocket cover. General maintenance is also very straightforward on these saws. Both the oil and the fuel filler caps are designed for easy removal and they won't get jammed on. The oil tank holds 280 millilitres and the fuel tank 400 millilitres so you'll get plenty of run time between fill-ups. The air filter is easily accessible for cleaning and it's made from a fleece material which is very resistant to dust and dirt. The saw is provided with a chain protection cover and a universal wrench. Now the second saw I want to show you is this, the DCS 5121. It shares many of the features of the EA3201, but it's a much heavier duty saw designed for more serious forestry work. The engine is again two stroke, but now 50 cc's, developing 3.3 horsepower making it ideal for the professional user who requires a lightweight but capable saw for tough cutting applications. Once again, it has an advanced electronic ignition system for easier starting and more efficient running. 
and this efficiency is further improved thanks to the double air filtration system. Like the EA3201, the on-off choke combination switch has an automatic lock at the half throttle position for easy starting and a similar off switch arrangement which automatically returns to the run position. This switch can also be moved down to the locked off position which cuts the ignition current and this is essential for repair or maintenance work on the saw. The same M2M vibration dampening system ensures a vibration level of just 5.2 meters per second squared. The DCS 5121 is supplied with a 45 centimeter guide bar and a 3 8 pitch chain. The tensioning system for this is very simple to use being external. You just turn the tensioning screw with the universal wrench. The chain guide bar oiling is again automatic with manual adjustment of the flow rate to suit the length of the guide bar. The oil pump is intelligent in that it turns off if the saw is idling to reduce unnecessary wastage. The large chain brake provides full operator protection but it can be used manually to lock the chain safely for transport between jobs. Like the EA3201, both oil and fuel filler caps are designed for easy removal and they shouldn't get jammed on, but you can use the universal wrench if necessary. The oil tank holds 270 millilitres and the fuel tank 470 millilitres, so you should get about half an hour of continuous working between fill-ups. The air filter is easily accessible for cleaning. The top cover just unclips. There's a pre-filter as well as the main fleece filter. But this can be changed to a nylon filter for work in damp conditions. If you work in really cold winter conditions where there's a real risk of carburetor icing, there is provision to redirect hot air from the cylinder to maintain a reliable working temperature. Just change the orientation of this slide. The saw is provided with a chain protection cover, a metal case and a tool kit. To further enhance their green credentials, Makita supply a variety of oils and lubricants and some of these are plant based and totally biodegradable to minimise any environmental impact. So that was just a quick look at two models from the extensive chainsaw range, all of which have been designed to maintain Makita's core values of reliability, power and efficiency and at the same time utilise all the latest advances in modern technology. These are tools for the professional user. I'm Al Holtham. Till next time, bye bye for now.